Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be looking at the market and kind of answering the question, has the panic stopped? Have we reached like a low point on some of the out of pack specials and everything that has been panic sold in this game in the past couple days, especially with the two for one packs, half price packs, and everything that has come with the Foot Player Days promo inside of this week in FIFA. Of course, we know it's been mad market crash, prices down like crazy, but it looks like some stuff is starting to bounce back. Whether that is natural bounce back because it just got too low, or if that is people starting to invest and inflating some of these prices. And I think there is a bit of investing going on, and I'll talk about that in a moment, especially with what if cards going out of packs today. I'm also gonna cover what kind of content I think we could see on Wednesday today. Will we see lightning rounds again since the foot um, what if cards will be out of packs? Team two of what if will be gone? Will we still see that with a new team of the week coming today? And of course, we have the uh, second day or the second week of upgrades for what if cards, which is this right here is perfectly timed because EA added in the foot what if plus card design finally into the object or to the quality search. So this guy in Babu, I think, is actually has the potential to go up a little bit more because now people can actually find him on the market because before. You know, you had to search through the special card type. And so Mbabu was kind of low, I think, and people couldn't find him because of that. So it might be easier for people to find Mbabu now and the cards that get upgraded today. So you might see some of them rise. But I just want to take a look across this whole entire market because there was more panic selling on Tuesday headed into the 6 p.m. time frame. And a lot of stuff has really rebounded. Now, there could be more panic selling today. I'm not saying that panic selling is done and over with. But I want to take notice of some things because people started buying cards yesterday. That is the obvious fact is that people started buying cards, whether that's investing, buying for their teams or whatever it may be. But this Mertens was the prime example from Foot What If Team 2 because people knew that yesterday on Tuesday was the last time frame that these cards were probably going to be in packs and getting supplied with lightning rounds from this Foot Player Days promo. So Mertens was panic sold right around the content drop time to 619,000 coins. People started buying him up right away, and he actually rebounded to 750. He's now back down to 700 a little bit, but there was a big rebound on the Mertens card. And if we look across the entire What If Team 2, Ricardo Perea was 120. He is now 150. Diado was at like 90K. Richarlison was 900. Regulon is up 10K. Dalvin is up like 10 to 15,000 coins. So Morales is up, I think, like 20 or 30K as well. A lot of people, in my opinion, went out and bought some of these What If cards. Um, because they think their upgrades are going to happen pretty soon, or those players have games this week. Like, I'm pretty sure um, Marseille played today. They play in a League One game against Saad Rene. So that is a potential goals being scored for Thalvin that he could be closer to his upgrade. But it looks like to me a lot of people just bought and invested in some of these what-ifs from Team 2, which I guess I understand why you, why they did that, right? Because... At first, you saw Richarlison selling at like 1.7, 1.8 million coins, and now he's 900K. That seems really cheap. Yeah, I do think some of these cards will rebound, but we don't know what is coming today on Wednesday. We're not sure what promo is coming next, but it does almost seem that for the rest of the market in total, some of the panic has stopped, right? Yes, they're still getting supply through lightning rounds. That is coming out, but that's really only affecting a lot of the fodder and some of the icon moments that are in packs. Even some icon moments are starting to bounce back. It just feels like people are realizing that the panic has stopped, right? Panic selling can only happen for so long because once people are done panic selling, there's gotta be some sort of buyback, right? Because everybody's gonna panic. They're gonna kind of figure out what's going on. And then you're gonna see some buyback because it's just natural like that. People still wanna trade. People still wanna try out cards in FIFA. And especially as the prices drop like crazy, you're gonna see buyback because people are gonna start to try some cards that they wanted to try before, right? This Ansu Fati was 1.9 mil, he's 2.1. Um, Saka is about the same price, he's not up that much. But we did see some big bounce backs today, right? Future Stars team number one. Kulusevsky was like 350K, he's 413. Subasly was almost the 300K flat, he is up. Reese James right back card was 550, is now up to 600,000 coins. So you're seeing a bounce back on a lot of areas of the market. Team of the years, let's take a quick peek here. Lewandowski's up a little bit, Ronaldo is up a little bit. Um, Ramos is up some, Ar Alexander Arnold is up some. So Mbappe is up like 200K, he was 6'4 earlier. So you are seeing that some of these cards have bounced back. Some of these road to the finals have bounced back too. Like Wijnaldum was 550 earlier today on Tuesday. And I don't know if we've seen, see as much panic on a lot of this stuff 
as we did yesterday and on Monday, I'm not sure if we see as much panic going into today on Wednesday. I feel like we might have hit some of the lowest point because yesterday's content, while there was a decent amount of it, right? We had the the um, SBC for the English striker Armstrong. We had a 82 plus player pick. We had new objectives and stuff like that. Um, and weekend league plus objectives as well, which is going to make things interesting for this weekend. Um, it, it was content, but it, the, the most important and like the most hyped part of the content yesterday was still, it was still these promo packs, the two for one 50K, 100K, and 125K lightning rounds that sell out literally so fast um, because people are all about trying to get those packs and trying to make money back from those packs, opening them with coins or with FIFA points. So, I do think you are starting to see some of this market bounce back from how low it was earlier. Now, some stuff is even lower than it was before, but some of the icon moments that I've been looking at uh, this morning, I was looking at Makalele and even last night, uh, this guy used to be like, he was like 1.7 mil flat for a solid 12 to you know 16 hours and he's back up to like 1.9. Looking at some of these other cards, uh, moments Zola was down to 1.2, 1.25. And now he's back up to 1.4. So a pretty solid bounce back on some of these icon moments as well. And I honestly just think it's because people are noticing these cards are getting very, very low. They're getting too cheap in the eyes of some people. Uh, I bought a Mane today for 1.530. And I sold it earlier today at 1.65. So there was a nice bit of a flip there. But some of these really rare cards uh, have kind of just fluctuated back up from the low parts that they were at. And they've kind of gone back up. Rashford today was 840. I believe now he's right around 900,000 coins, maybe a smidge under that. Yeah, nine, 900K flat right there for Rashford. So he is back up a little bit. Some of these icon moments, again, have rebounded back up. Rivaldo was like 1.35, 1.4. You're now seeing bids at 145 and higher. Some of the cards have still dropped off, right? The Shevchenko was in the one twos, and now he's closer to one one. So there still are cards that are cheap, but some of them that are hype that people want to try out. Uh, I flipped a Cedar tonight from 1.39 all the way to 1.55. So that was a deal. Uh, and especially on the out of pack special card market. Now, except for this Harry Kane, man, this guy is getting very cheap right now. Like ridiculously cheap. There was just one that expired at 1.03, which is basically the cheapest that he has been. So we're definitely keeping an eye on some stuff that is just like in, in quotes, you could say too low. Like this, this Guardiola, I might be able to flip one of these. Uh, there's a bid at 1.095. So if I could snag this on a, on a deal right here, I might have to get involved with that. Same thing with this Desai. We got bids for real right now happening at the 59th minute, which is very interesting. But as it looks right now on the game, you can still trade, right? It seems like this market has a bit more, what I, what I will say, it has a bit more gusto to it, right? It has a bit more confidence to it. And that's why I think you're seeing a lot of these cards bounce back and why you are seeing um, people want to go out and even buy up these cards as quote unquote investments, right? And it's not just, people aren't just spending coins. That was a pretty good deal on, on Guardiola. But people aren't just spending coins on cards that are in the game as well, like for usable and in their teams. SBC fodder got supplied yesterday and it is now bouncing back too. So people that bought SBC fodder yesterday, it was a big W because Messi's SBC was down to 1.6 million coins. And right now he is 1.73. Uh, I remember seeing the Icon player pick pack down at like 850 or 875. It's now to 917. Uh, Nedved's SBC is 827. He was down at 800K flat. So a lot of the SBCs have bounced back up a little bit from how low fodder was earlier during the lightning rounds. Now that makes us think again today, are there going to be lightning rounds today? And is there going to be as much panic? I honestly think there is not going to be as much panic today. Um, I'm going to try to get this Desai really fast. If the bidding doesn't take too long, I'm not going to mess around with it. Because this guy sells for like 2.5, 2.6. Uh, there were a couple sales today at 2.4. So if I can snag this at like 2.1, I'd be pretty comfortable with 2.1. So we'll see if I can get 2.1 for this Desai. But I do think this market is kind of bouncing back and I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to bid straight up 2.1 mil. Come and get me. Um, I think that you are going to see a little bit of panic selling today dropping in because we're not sure if there are going to be lightning rounds today. We're not sure. I'm going to let that sit. Uh, we're not sure there's going to be lightning rounds today. So if we're not sure about that, then um, why would there be panic selling on some of these other cards? And again, like we saw a lot of panic selling on the Mertens today. Um, and on some of the other what if cards that were in packs, if there's no what if cards going to be in packs after 6 p.m., 
then why would there be panic selling on these cards too? So it's honestly got me feeling like you're gonna see the market start to be pretty stable. Not like super duper stable, you'll probably see a little bit of sell off, sell off today, just because people like to panic in general. But if you see that sell off, kind of look at the cards that have bounced back, bounced back over the past couple of days and take note of that, right? There's a lot of um, the past two days, Monday and Tuesday, there's been a lot of, I guess you could say proof or evidence of which cards like to bounce around the most in price. And if you take a look at those and buy when you know is in a dip and sell when you know is on a high, like this Goosen's card for low tier, right? It goes down to 100K. He goes back up to like 120, right? Team of the group stage cards bounce around a decent amount. Messi was like 113 today. He's 1.25 now. Bruno Fernandez was like 680. He's not up that much. This Teo Hernandez was like 230. He's up a decent amount. So look at a lot of these cards that bounce up and down when there is panic, especially if they're rare. Mbappe was like 229 earlier today. Vardy, 400,000 coins seems pretty cheap. Like this guy might bounce like 430 or 440, which is a decent flip there. Uh, he was like 400K flat. And he bounced to like 418. So he really hasn't bounced too much for this Vardy. But this is where I think we're getting towards this part of the promo where stuff is really starting to kind of, you know, figure itself out. And stuff is going to kind of, there's not going to be as much panic is what I'm generally saying. I think we might have hit the low. We've kind of reached the bottom. Like the crashing might have stopped on a lot of this stuff. Now, there'll be one last chance for that today. And of course, if they do release like a new loading screen or something like that today, then you could see more movements. But Griezmann was like 242K this morning. Of course, Barcelona are playing PSG. And of course, it's not looking good for Barcelona to come back and win, but people are gonna buy this up. He was 231 and went to 259, where he is 260 right now. Um, you know, Davies was under 900,000 coins today. People are watching Klosterman and Sansone, Salah with the live items. Uh, they have games today on Wednesday. So watch out for those road to the finals for sure. Maybe you watch out for Berchiche and you watch out for Talvin with what if items that could be getting packed today as well. But if you're trying to make coins right now and if you, if you feel like stuff is still low that you want to get invested in or if you see panic this morning, right? If you do see panic selling this morning on out of pack special cards, I would say that's honestly a 100% place that you would would I would be comfortable with you guys getting involved and buying some out of pack specials, maybe some icon moments if they are meta. I know that we've got rewards coming, marquee matchups, with, which might supply the market a little bit. But I feel like as this people get a little bit more confident with this promo. Now, one thing is EA could still drop content that could crash the market, right? But that's a risk that we always have. So, of course, on the loading screen here, it says foot player days until March 12th, which is Friday. I believe on the website, it says March 11th. So we're a little bit unsure on the dates here for March 12th or March 11th for foot player days. But uh, in my opinion, EA could still crash the market, of course, with these special pack offers. And I talked about it today on stream, and I think I mentioned it in last night's video too. Today we got an 82 plus double pack, and they released an 80, or sorry, an 82 plus upgrade. But on Monday, they released an 81 plus double upgrade. Maybe today they released one of those double upgrade packs once again. I cannot forget to do Leroy Fair. I have to do him. I got to get him done tonight. But uh, they could release some one of those double packs again. That could cause some panic. And uh, not necessarily on uh, stuff that is, you know, in packs, but anything. It could cause some panic to four for that Desai. So that was not a deal on bid. But um, just keep an eye out for some of that content that could come that could cause a little bit of, you know, spicing things up on the market. That's one area that I think we could be. That's like our that's like one of our only areas right right now where I think we could see more panic. But honestly, I feel like this market is just kind of trending out of the panic from Monday and Tuesday, and we're going to be trending upwards into this next week on some items for sure. And you just you do have to kind of keep keep a watch on stuff that has been invested in because you know we've seen Ricardo Perea literally go up twenty thousand coins today, or in the past twenty four hours or so. This guy was one twenty eight one hundred twenty thousand coins, and he rebounded instantly. Right? People knew these cards were going out of packs, and they bought them. If you invested in some of these cards, here's what I'll say. All of these cards, when they got the upgrade, and we're going to see more cards get upgraded today, uh, all of the cards that have gotten upgraded have actually dropped post the upgrade. So I know it's only been one, and it's been in Babu. Um, and since these guys are so cheap, I'm wondering if people are like, yo, once this card goes to a, an, an 89 for Ricardo Perea, is that going to make him shoot up just because he's going to be too cheap for his rating and too cheap for his stats? There is a little bit of potential for that, right? But since the card is invested in a decent amount, and still this market is pretty dead, 
I'd be careful, right? I'd be careful if you want to take your profit before the upgrade on a guy like um, Perea for sure. Now, Pepe is going to become SBC fodder like he was before. I don't even know if you would have to sell your card then, but you know, this guy's being invested in a decent amount. So that's one stuff that I'd be, that's stuff that I'd be kind of careful about uh, just right now and kind of have on my mind, I guess I would say, but we are do a couple upgrades today, right? We got Marcelo getting upgraded. We've got Leroy Fair. We've got Pepe. Uh, we've got Chris Smalling, who was 640 today, rebounded back to 680. That was a GG and Leroy Fair. All those cards are getting upgraded today with what ifs. Tavernier is getting upgraded today as well to an 87 rated card. So it's kind of a big Wednesday in terms of the actual upgrades for what ifs. And we'll see what that does to the market. But a lot of times, what I'm honestly thinking is people have invested in those. They'll probably rise up into the upgrade today on Wednesday and maybe dip off a little bit. Now, let's talk about SBC fodder just for the end of this video a little bit more. Honestly, if, if we do get lightning rounds today, this is going to be good stuff to trade with because every single day now for the past two days with these lightning rounds, you've been able to buy these cards on bid during lightning rounds for cheap or snipe them and sell them later like this Benzema, right? This guy was 66, 67K before the content drop. Lightning rounds came out and he went down as like 63. So that meant you probably were able to win this guy on bid somewhere in like the middle of 50s, right? And now he's nearing almost 67, 68, could go even higher into, into the daytime um, to today on Wednesday, you know, with this fodder. So just like we saw the price on Messi's SPC fluctuate, people might have started some of these SPCs and they might feel kind of locked in to complete a lot of these upgrade packs. So I, I'm not saying that fodder is gonna continue to go up. I'm saying fodder is gonna continue to fluctuate if we get tradable pack supply, like two for one packs and stuff like that. Now, of course, today on Wednesday is team of the weekday. Is team of the weekday. So we're expecting a brand new team of the week in packs. This is the prediction coming in from Foot Bin. At the moment, we have Kane, Goretzka, Insigne, Shaw, Ilicic, Morata, Jordi Alba. You got a Kent and a Jonathan David. Now, all I'll say about this is whenever there's a team of the week out and we have best of week in league plus or not best of, but the week in league plus objectives, we never have a good team of the week. So I'm not expecting a good team of the week today. And if we do get lightning rounds, then that is going to mean that the team of the week is going to be heavily, heavily supplied day one. That's going to be interesting to keep an eye on. So I'm not so sure if we get lightning rounds today. Maybe EA will bring the hype in terms of SBCs. But if they're if the whole premise of this promo is to drop SBC fodder, then they could drop more lightning rounds today. So we'll have to see if that really is their premise or if they were just doing lightning rounds because the foot 21 what if cards were still in packs. But that's kind of my thought about the market and what is going on right now. I'm probably not going to make a Thursday flipping video this week. We'll see. I'm not super duper uh, comfortable or pumped about it, I guess. Um, but we'll see, right? We'll see what happens today on Wednesday and maybe you'll see a double upload later today about Thursday flipping before rewards. So we'll talk about that then. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace.